Hi there, Sasha here from The Balanced Canine. Now we do lots of different therapies and different modalities here, um, everything from nutritional consults to conditioning and of course the therapies in between. What I want to do today is take you through some of those therapies um, and explain what they are with the help of a couple of dogs as well. Alright there Gab? Good boy! Alright, do you want to back off? Yes, hello. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. All right. Looks like Gavin's sticking around to help us out today. All right. So I'll start off with some of uh, my most used therapies um, that we do here. Um, the first one's called Anitsu. Um, now it's a thermal heat therapy. Um, it's one of our clients' favorites. Um, Gav here loves it. And if Gav would back off for a little bit over here, Gavin, over here. Thank you very much. Okay. Cool. So this is the machine here. And it has two temperature gauges on it. Um, the first one will tell me the temperature that I'm actually putting into the dog, so I get to choose, um, you know, how much energy I'm putting into the dog. And then it has a bounce back feature. So if I'm going over an area with a lower circulation, the degree temperature will actually drop to show me that there is a problem there. And from there, what we can do is we can put um, more heat, more therapy into that area to bring up the levels to what they should be. Areas that have lower circulation, they could be old injuries and muscle strains, things like that. Okay, so this is a great unit. Um, the effects of this unit will stay in the um, dog for a couple of hours afterwards. It's almost like having a heat pack on for a couple of hours. All right, there's another one that you may be familiar with. Um, this is called um, Cyclo um, Vibration Therapy. It's gone under a few different names over the years, and it's a human model, it's an equine model, um, and it's a canine model as well. So I think today in the canine world it's called um, Excel Therapy. Uh, so the unit looks like this. It has um, different adjustments um, that we can use as well. Um, now, this is a different type of vibration therapy that doesn't actually slap the skin. Um, it causes a rippling effect. Um, so it's quite gentle. It doesn't cause um, tissue damage and it allows us to get quite deep into the dog's um, muscle tone as well. So that's a great one to use. All right. Then we have the XL uh, Pointer Plus. Now there's uh, a number of people that do use this, um, such as Flyball and also um, Agility people. Um, there's been a physio before that's run some uh, workshops that have used this pen, and we do like it. Um, it's a TENS machine, and what TENS does is it helps relax muscles and it helps with pain. Um, so that's a great thing, right? Um, it's actually made on the basis that um, it's an acu puncher pen, so um, it measures skin resistance and tells you actually where you need to treat. Okay, uh, laser therapy. So we do um, laser therapy um, for superficial um, areas such as wounds and things like that. Uh, that could be surgical wounds. We do um, laser to treat muscle and joint issues and we also uh, do laser acupuncture as well. All right, um, magnesium chloride therapy, um, one of our favorites. Um, I don't think anyone should be at a competition without magnesium chloride. It works extremely fast. It's transdermal, which means that you apply it to the skin. It gets in there really quickly and addresses um, muscle tension, um, fatigue, and things like that. Um, it's a human product as well. It's um, lined uh, right here in uh, Western Australia versus being an import product. Okay. Um, our baby. This is uh, the blur thermal imaging machine so we can actually have a look at your dog on the thermal imager and see if there's any areas of concern um, and we can cross-reference that between what we feel and what we see as well so that's a great little tool all right rock tape one of our favorite things um, now it's um, rock tape has been in the human world for a very very long time um, it's oh, I can't even think how long it's been around it's been around that long um, and then more recently, it's been used in the equine world. Um, so if you see barrel races in particular in competition, you're bound to see rock tape. Um, we've started to use it on canines and we've really got some really awesome results. Um, so we use it a lot in back pain. It does exceptionally well in that area. Um, we can do it to support patellas, um, hips and neck issues. 
um, support collapsed um, pastons. There's a whole range of different things that we can do with rock tape. It really is a fantastic tool for supporting um, the therapies that you are doing with the dog um, and also for pain relief as well. Yes, we do take humans as well. So some of our clients actually come to us without their dogs just to get taped. Back tapings um, and knee tapings and neck tapings are the most common ones that we do um, with canine handlers. All right. So one of um, the last things I want to show you is a tool called the activator. It makes a clicking sound, kind of like a gun sound. Now, the activator um, is called different things by different people in terms of what it does. There's uh, different techniques on um, how to use this. We use a technique developed by Dr. Chiropractic in America, who we trained under. Um, so we do not use the BOM um, therapy, um, which some vets may use. We use a slightly different one. Now, in theory, what this actually does, if we um, put a thrust into each spinal process, there will be an involuntary um, reaction by the dog's body to let us know if there's a subluxation there. We can then um, do um, some thrusting into the muscle next to that spinal process to release that muscle uh, so the vertebrae can return to its normal position. Um, there are some fantastic results out there using this tool um, and it's our tool of preference if the dog will tolerate it. There are some dogs that are sensitive in nature in terms of noise sensitivity um, that they may not be okay with it. A lot of people think that if their dog's clicker trained because it makes a click uh, that the dog will be okay with it. Um, that's not always the case. Um, so what we do, we test the sensitivity of the dog first. Uh, before we do it and dogs that um, will not allow us to treat them with this we will um, try and desensitize them over time and also provide a sound file to their owners as well so they can try and do some stuff at home it's a great tool um, what we do not do is we do not pick dogs up and physically um, manipulate them crunch them I'm a very small person so I can't do that anyway um, but it's just not something that um, I'm trained in or that I would be comfortable to do anyway. There's lots of different therapies that we do here um, that fit into the realms of being safe and effective um, without having to um, pick up and manipulate dogs and potentially scare them as well. Um, I pride myself on being um, very gentle with dogs, especially um, a lot of the performance dogs that we see are weak and nerved um, working breed types. Um, so I take my time. I do have that luxury of time. I don't put my appointments back to back. There's always a buffer period in between. So that means if I go longer with one dog, it's not a particular, you know, big issue as such. Okay. If you have any questions about the therapies that we do do, feel free to touch base. Um, but in general, yes, we do adjustments um, with the activator tool. We do muscle therapies by hand. I'm a trained um, canine myofunctional therapist um, and we do the laser and yeah, pretty much the, the average muscle therapies. Um, the difference, I guess, between us and some of the other people out there is, yes, we do have the qualifications behind it, um, but we are able to take our time. So it's particularly good, as I mentioned, for those dogs that are sensitive, stressed, or have had bad handling before um, that's made them quite um, scared of the process. Okay, thanks for watching.